Islam, Shalom, Hola, Aloha, Bonjour, Assalamu Alaikum, Osio. It's your brother Zach Bay, Indigenous American Moore, coming to you live at Full Effect. Like, share, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell down below so you can be notified whenever I'm dropping new content. Leave a comment, interact with me. Thank you. I really do appreciate your viewership. Let's jump into another one. Today, I want to talk about a hey, food wars again. We talk about the the safety of our food um, regulations changing on on, on our food um, uh, food production uh, food uh, import exports um, pretty much anything has to do with like like recalls um, about our water supply things of that nature like that's what I like to talk about in this segment for the most part so <clears throat> you may have heard you may have seen videos uh, circulating online about uh, research being done like tests being done on some of the uh, larger companies in the United States some of the largest some of the larger food companies so if you know there's maybe about 13 maybe 14 companies that own the majority of the food in America um, they're like umbrella uh, corporations and they have many other companies underneath of their um, pretty much underneath their, their branding underneath their umbrella hopefully I can uh, find a good uh, picture of it and I'll post it in, um, in this video so we have an example of what I'm talking about right here but so these larger companies are pretty much being like audited and uh there's research being done, uh, tests are being done, uh, federal lawsuits are being uh, filed, uh, class action on the safety of our food. They're changing the regulations and the laws on putting uh, preservatives, food dyes in our in our um, food products. Um, GMOs might be getting banned, uh, genetically modified organisms, or uh, how, how they've changed it uh, recently uh, bioengineered um, organisms or uh, products bioengineered um, so the rumors were circulating online saying that scientists have found evidence of there being like nanotechnology or like graphene oxide um, residue or debris inside of like all coca-cola product like soda um or all the pepsi product as well inside the sodas um i don't know if you've ever seen the videos of like them exposing the graphene oxide to uh either magnetic fields or 5g uh radiation or 5g frequencies and it it moves um these particles start to like combine and start to grid together and formulate like web webbing. It looks like webbing, um, and they say that act that happens inside the human body. So, if you know anything, uh, if you have been keeping your ear to the ground, have been keeping up with like some of the latest developments in nanotechnology, I would say about two years ago, or a year or two or three years ago. Um, it was announced that they created like a self-replicating uh, type of like biotechnology, um, some kind of self-replicating bio bio life form. All right, um, in the nanotechnology field, so these like tiny robots can pretty much repopulate and uh, reproduce themselves. Um, pretty much groundbreaking stuff. So if you can combine the con the, the idea of that inside of our food, um, then there's growing huge vats of this uh, this uh, life form or um, huge vats of the of these like nanotech self-replicating uh, technologies and then they add them inside of food they add them inside maybe the water supply um, it can start leading toward a lot of health 
uh, adverse health effects. Uh, think about over the last few years, we've seen a lot of inc incredibly rare health conditions popping up. A lot of it had to do with the jab, and this has a lot to do with that same technology that was used inside of the vaccination, inside the jab, right? So that combined with uh, radio frequencies, uh, electromagnetic fields, it starts to lean toward that transhumanism agenda, right? Um, transferring, like, like skewing the lines between bio organisms and uh, machines, pretty much bridging the gap. So combining uh, biology or bio organisms with uh, te machine technology. Um, that's pretty much what the transhumanism thing is. Um, so along with the rumors of that if you haven't heard about it maybe you can look it up check it out um about coca-cola and pepsi products allegedly having this nanotechnology inside of it um also there's been reports of uh, a lot of the fish uh fish uh fruits vegetables a lot of the foods being grown here a lot of the uh, animals being raised here are being injected with uh perhaps vac vaccine and uh or even nanotechnology you know uh this type of stuff that they're just putting inside a living organism that are going to slaughter that are going to be placed inside of supermarkets inside of butcher shops um inside the fast food places uh i made a uh, a video before on the, the lab grown meat the 3d printed meat so uh, even if you're opting out and you're not getting uh, lab grown meat or uh, 3D printed meat and you're trying to go for a healthy natural option, they're even vaccinating the, the, the animals. They're vaccinating the cows, the, the chickens, the pigs uh, before they go to slaughter. All right. So it's like there's no way to get away from it. Um, there's already been uh, studies and research. Uh, about plants, plants being grown, um, like lettuce and things like that, uh, leafy vegetables, um, pretty much le edible leafy vegetables being grown that have the vaccine technology inside of it as it's being grown. So it's like, it's no way to really get away from it. And I feel like with a lot of these studies, a lot of these class action lawsuits coming up and popping up, um, it's, it's wild that we're not really hearing about it in the mainstream media. You know, um, Fox, uh, NBC, uh, CBS, um, uh, any of these huge mainstream media uh, companies, uh, channels, stations, they're really not talking about a lot of the class action lawsuits that are happening within the Food and Drug Administration. So, um, along with that, and... Uh, most of people starting to realize that a lot of the food that we have here in America, a lot of the uh, ingredients that are in our foods are banned in other countries, are banned in most countries. Most countries that are that are considered third, uh, first world countries or developed nations, a lot of our food products, red dye, number uh, 40, yellow five, um, a, a lot of these things, um, uh, MSG, uh, of course, the the, the the GMOs or bioengineered uh, organisms, a lot of those are banned in, in other countries. You're not allowed to sell that stuff at all. We're not allowed. To, uh, they're not allowed to ship it over there. Their their citizens, their their nationals, their countrymen are not allowed to eat that stuff. Honestly, and we're finally starting to catch up and get up to speed here in the states. And I feel it has to do with a lot of these companies facing major lawsuits and. If uh, President Trump and um, RFK can get our Food and Drug Administration back going in the right direction, uh, getting rid of those uh, chemical additives, those preservatives, those uh, food dyes, um, and start getting back to like you know the natural ingredients, um, organic products, um, less preservatives. Um, you know, it's it's good for the American people. It's, it's really, really putting America first. It's putting it like health first. Like it's it's for life and not death. Because it's like um, a 
lot of these major companies are in bed with like the pharmaceutical industry. So it's like they're eating food that's making you sick and then you go to the pharmaceutical industries and they're prescribing you treatments with which are medications which are keeping you sick and they're just treating the underlying causes or the condition or the effects and they're not treating the the uh, the actual main condition or the underlying condition as I said before they're actually treating just uh, just the symptoms you know or side effects it's, it's, it's freaking wild honestly um, the price of groceries have not gone up uh, I mean haven't gone down so uh, the price of groceries have continued to go up let's see if it changes within uh, the next few months you know with the change of regime um, it's like it's almost it's almost the same amount of money that you're spending uh, going out to eat at a restaurant um, versus you know staying home and cooking your meals every single day you, you, you kind of spend like the same amount of money and um, it's not really saving you much because you know groceries are so high um, also a lot of the larger companies as I spoke about before the ones that already own most of the major companies uh, or um, food brands that we have already they're buying the smaller companies all right so uh, a lot of the companies that make the organic food um, that actually produce like healthy organic food um, a lot of the major companies are buying those up a lot of the, the larger companies are buying up the smaller companies um, I know like the like Katy Perry um, purchased a the company that makes the apple cider vinegar right that 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 the apple cider vinegar that's very very popular so she's partnering with bill gates and bill gates has farms that produces the apples for that and those apples are gmo apples so now that uh that what used to be organic apple cider is going to be potentially made with these gmo apples now right since they're part partnering together i used to buy apple butter at the grocery store like uh, as a sandwich spread right like you know, if you know you know um months months ago i would say maybe five months ago was like the last time i might have uh, purchased some but after i purchased that i realized when i went back to the grocery store and they restocked it i seen the color of it had changed so the apple butter is normally a very very dark uh dark color apple butter um because you know it's packed with like cinnamon and stuff like that but it's normally a very a, a darker color um the color of the apple butter that was placed on the shelves then was a lighter, a lighter color. Um, of course, most likely from a different batch of apples or whatever, you know, how, how it goes. But I'm just like the consistency of it hasn't changed in so long. And now it recently changed. And it made me think about the, all those GMO apples that are um, that are potentially being used uh, to make a lot of the products that have apple apples in them. Um, few months ago we heard about the recall on like apple juice products right like a lot of companies that were selling different apple juice uh brands that were all under the, that same major branding so it affected multiple um uh brands and um it affect, affected multiple stores nationwide it goes back to the apples those gmo apples um could be tainted so you definitely got to be careful about that i wanted to bring that to your attention Something else before I close it out. Did you notice that the food pyramid is gone? It's been years now. I remember uh, in school, elementary school, going through middle school, it was still around. The food pyramid. It used to be on the wall in PE. It used to be on the wall in like health class. Um, it used to be in the cafeteria. You know, like the food pyramid, how it was all broken down. What food groups to eat and which ones were more important. That's illegal now. They can't show that. It's been proven. The studies have been done that those portions and what and how it was uh, designed was all propaganda in order to put money in the pockets of companies who were pretty much profiting off of their 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 products being uh, marketed to the American people. 
and how much the American people should consume, right? Um, breakfast, uh, breakfast, the American breakfast, bacon, eggs, a uh, bowl of cereal, some milk, some OJ. You used to always see it like on the breakfast commercials um, growing up in the 90s, early 2000s. Um, most of that stuff we don't need. Um, most people don't even actually have to have breakfast. Like breakfast I will actually slows you down if you eat that early. If you eat that that soon after you wake up, instead of giving your body time to continue to fast and to get back into its normal uh, regulatory cycles and stuff of that nature. Hey, but it was all for propaganda. Um, companies were making a lot of money. The dairy industries for the milk and cereal and stuff of uh, that nature. Uh, the, uh, the, the cattle industry for like pork um, well, the farmers who have pigs, you know, for the bacon, you know, bacon and sausage, you know, um, also, along with the food pyramid, do you remember those got milk commercials, those got milk ads, studies and research have come out that milk, instead of making, instead of milk doing the body good, making your bones strong, milk actually promotes cancer and, and brittle bones, fam, <laughs> like, like they've been lying to us for so long. Like the health of the American people has vastly deteriorated. The the physical health and then also the mental health of the American people has vastly deteriorated over the last few decades, man. Like there used to be presidential fitness tests in, in, in school. So, um, testing like can you run the mile, how many jumping jacks, push-ups, uh, flex arm hang, all that stuff, right? I don't even believe they do that anymore. Um, there's no more presidential fitness tests like um, like a military enrollment rates are lower than ever because you know people can't run people can't do physical exercises um, the mental health is at an all time high you know there's more cases there's more diagnosed cases of um, mental illness like, like so much is going on the American people are really suffering they are really suffering and these rich and wealthy um, companies have that have been feeding us and putting money in the pockets of the FDA in order to pass their toxic and chemical um, and damn and damn right criminal um, ingredients and products uh, chemicals on us like they've been just lobbying and they've been putting money in the pockets of these scientists and, and just for the scientists to say that their product is healthy or they don't have or they haven't found any adverse health effects to consuming uh, XYZ product you know what I'm saying like I fill in the blank yourself man but I really just wanted to bring that up the food pyramid is banned the got milk ads are completely illegal um, large food companies buying up the organic food companies uh, price of food is incredibly freaking high. Quick recap: groceries are high. Um, going out to eat versus going into the grocery store, the prices are damn near comparable. Um, vaccines going inside the the cattle, going inside the fish, going inside the produce. Like, fam, what's going on? Hopefully, we can turn this thing around. And those. In these two years, hopefully, you know, the American people can really get healthy again. We can start thinking properly once our bodies get healthy. Once we start putting the proper nutrients inside our body, our brains and our minds can start operating uh, at complete capacity as they're supposed to be, fam. So I really just wanted to touch base, chop it up. Didn't want to make this video too long. We're almost about to hit that 20 minute mark. Food Wars, tap in with me, touch base. I really like to hear from you. Let me know if you've seen any of this stuff that I've talked about online. There's a lot of other content creators that are covering uh, a lot of these um, lawsuits, these class action lawsuits. So check it out, follow up, tap in, let me know what you think. Peace and love, out.